Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Joe Biden forgot that there was a storm that has claimed lives in many states of the U.S. So uh, you, you need to watch this for yourself. What do the states in the storm zone need, Mr. President? Okay. What do the states in the storm zone, what do they need after what you saw today? Well, you know that first that he, he oh, he could have misheard well, what, what was the question, right? What do the states of the storm need, Mr. President? Oh, in the storm zone? Yes, sir. Oh, the, the storm zone? Yeah, of course. I'm wondering what storm you're talking about. I'm wondering what storm you're talking about. The, uh, they're getting everything they need. They're getting everything they need, and of course, he's looking away. No, I don't buy it, Joe. I don't buy it for a minute. You're making this up. Why are you doing this? Why are, are you doing this? Are you aware that you're here, Joe? Is, is anybody home? Uh, they're very happy across the board. And yes, and that uh, pacifying gesture tells me that uh, you have no idea what you're talking about. You are not really here. I'm going to <laughs> just play this step by step to look at the battle language. I think the guys in the background know that Joe Biden is not really there, that this is an empty shell, that this guy is just out. Who is running the United States is my question, because, well, it is not Kamala Harris, and it's certainly not Joe Biden. He is asked the question, and you see that he is frowning, like he's trying to understand, well, with the let's give him the benefit of the doubt with all the noise from the uh, uh, aircraft and all that stuff. What the, what does the uh, states on the storm zone need, Mr. President? And he is still nowhere. I'm gonna try to take a look if he blinks. Okay, he even blinks one. You know that the, uh, blinking is important because blinking at least means that the person is understanding, but not in this case because he blinks, but he's still pretty much unaware. What you saw today, and he spends a full second like, what are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, in the storm zone, yeah, okay. I'm wondering what storm are you talking about? And no, this is completely lost. He's still looking down. He's not looking at the reporter in the eye. I think at no point he's looking at the man in the eye. He's looking in other directions. He blinks, uh, he blinks rapidly when he's wandering. There, there's a quick blink right there. You saw it. There's that quick blink. Even in the low quality of the video, you can see the quick blink. There's an emotional reaction. Like he, he, he finally got that and he got nervous because it's like, yeah, having that wake up moment. Oh my God, I, I just forgot. Which storm are they talking about? This is embarrassing. This is sad and dangerous. That This is why there's so many things happening in the, in the world and everybody is doing as they please because this is a weak, weak leader. This is more like a non-existent leader. In fact, he, he is not there. They're getting everything they need and that is false. I'm going, I'm going to tell you why it, it is false. This is Alejandro Mayorkas, just three months ago, talking about, well, how FEMA was prepared for hurricane season. Let's, three months ago, this video is from three months FEMA ago. FEMA is tremendously prepared. This is what we do. This is what they do. And the key here, Rebecca, is also to make sure that the communities who are potentially impacted are prepared as well. You know that uh, he speaks in a way that I, I have a non-professional uh, word to address this. So sadly, since my channel is pretty much either professional or satire, well, I, I will refrain from mentioning it right now. But uh, you can imagine which word it is. And it's not just hurricanes uh, and fire, wildfires, also extreme heat, which certainly some parts of the United States are already experiencing. Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas sounding the alarm on FEMA funding right after the devastation of Hurricane Helene. Listen. 
Yeah, uh, this, is a, this is a problem because he said, you, you heard him say that, well, they were really prepared for anything, right? But what happened afterwards? We are meeting the immediate needs uh, with the money that we have. We are expecting another hurricane hitting. Uh, we do not have the funds. FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. FEMA doesn't have the funds to make it through the season. So what is it, Mallorcas? You still have the funds or you don't? How, what, what is, how, how can we choose from that? Who, who do we trust? Who is in charge? And you can remember this. This all as comes well. as the Biden-Harris administration spent over a billion dollars from a FEMA program on services for migrants. A billion with a B. A billion dollars for migrants. And, well, no, we, we ran out of money. We ran out of money, if, you know, for all the people who is dying, who needs desperately this help. And, well, we have some reports that I am going to share with you. This, this were messages that uh, were sent to Elon Musk and he received. And he said FEMA is both incompetent and stopping people from helping. Elon was asking this question and whoever was on the other side said it's true. They are now about to shut down the airspace to regulate the private choppers we are riding in to deliver Starlink and supplies. We are pushing back with the Trump team as well to help us, but not looking good. We need to help to get word out about FEMA. We spoke with Ivanka and handed out Starlinks with her yesterday. But FEMA then showed up and started blocking us. The largest concern for us here is the FAA throttling uh, flights for our choppers where they are requiring to from information and mission now to deliver a discrete code. Doing this take a long time and very cumbersome to the ops. This is the largest concern and most help we can use. This is actually blocking the help that is desperately needed for all these people that are in all these states and time is running out like literally the time has been running out for days and it, it's like from biden down that nobody knows what they are doing and you know that well kamala harris offered that uh dollars uh, in a moment almost as bad as the original announcement of assistance for Maui burn victims. Kamala Harris comes out and says they will uh, provide in, they will provide $750 for victims of flooding due to Hurricane Helene. $750. What 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 is that good for? And you and you need and you need to request that via an app. How you will, would you request? something via an app if there's no signal if there's no electricity if there's no water Th these people are insane keep in mind these are people who have, have lost everything and in this economy 750 is a slap in the face even for basic food water clothing and temporary shelter the fact that we can continually spend billions of dollars on wars waste billions in useless initiatives that never even get off the ground in the form of purported connectivity projects under the Biden and Harris administration, and then fund the stay of criminal and illegal migrants in this country, yet only spare 750 for families of a natural disaster, is absolutely disgusting. This, this is something that really is uh, stomach-churning. I don't know, I don't know how these people have a, any, any kind of face to just be able to speak to the public but in this in the case of joe biden he has the benefit that he he doesn't even remember his name he doesn't even remember who's married to he, this is an empty shell of a man he is yeah no not there i don't care if oh yeah but you have to understand that he is in Ireland. then why were you saying like two months ago everyone was saying oh then this is so great that biden is in top top form to be the next president of the United States. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that the debate between Donald Trump and Joe Biden hadn't happened? They would have continued this joke, this charade. And <laughs> where would have been? That would have been nice that something like the back in back in June would happen in October or something like that. That 
that would have been nice. But it is my question to you, my dear viewers of Body Language of Bodies, who are you going to, who are you vote, voting for in November? If you are in the United States, of course. And if you are uh, citizens of uh, citizens of the United States, if you are uh, uh, an illegal uh, migrant, no. This is, this is the choice that you have to make. I, I think this is a really important choice. This is the thing that I've been hammering all these weeks, and especially in the face of a natural disaster that has taken so many lives in so many states of the U.S. And these people, these people could have used this scenario to come out as, okay, we are, we're going to save all of them, we're going to be heroic, and not even that. And not even that. But I would love to know what you think about this in the comments. Remember to download my 100 free body language tips in the description of this video. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the body language guy. Much love and bliss.